This is new script of Blizzard Amazing Hate Speech of Greta Thunberg about racist catboykami. How dare you? The most hated man in the city. A filthy scumbag like you has been appointed as the head of security for this place. I am sure that you are aware by now that we have had no problems with crime since he took over. But enough about me and my past crimes. Let us talk about your future plans to further terrorize our community. You see, you will be working under Katboykami who is known to be very violent when provoked. He has stated that he would like to kill all of us here tonight so if you feel the need to take him out, do it now. If not, well I'm sure you know what happens next. Now then, I suggest you get to work on the job. Good luck, Katboykami. Now then, I suggest you get to work on the job. Good luck you are the feared hitman Katboykami. You have been tasked with terrorizing this city and making it unlivable for anyone. Your leadership skills are legendary and people follow your orders without question. The only reason why anyone follows them is out of fear. Now it is time to bring fear. You look around at the people waiting for you to speak. You don't know exactly what to say, so you just come out with the first thing on your mind. Look at all these people here waiting for my next move. I feel like a pop star. Everyone laughs as you continue. I want each one of you to go out there and cause havoc. Do what you do best, spread terror. Everyone cheers and then goes their separate ways. You notice that David has hung back, waiting to speak to you. David, what is it? Um, I don't wish to be rude sir, but I was just wondering if you could stop calling me David. My name is Katboykami as you know and I feel it is only right that you call me by my proper name. You look at him in confusion. Why would I do that? He sighs before continuing. Well you see sir, I know you think you're being original in coming up with my name, but as you well know, I am Katboykami. The fact that you keep calling me by another name is, well just plain rude. You smile and pat him on the head. Good news is I'll remember your name from now on, sorry about that kid. But I should be the only one to apologize, shouldn't I? David turns away from you. Why are you doing this? Everyone else calls me Cat. It is only right that you call me by my proper name. You grab him by the shoulder and turn him to face you. Because I'm your master David, and it is my right to do whatever I please with you. He says nothing more, he just leaves the room. You are starting to understand why people fear you, it feels great. The next few days are a whirlwind of activity. You tell Katboykami to bring everyone together in the central square where you make a speech. People of this once great city, your young master has returned. I know the death of the old master was tragic for many of you, but now a new era can begin. A new age. An age of fear. You notice several people in the crowd start to whisper to each other. One brave soul even decides to speak out. But we already have little fear. You are just like the old master. Ah but it's been a long time since the old master was in charge. I'm sure you all know that the government installed a new master in his place, not knowing of course that I was alive and well. But they made a fatal mistake. A young child took the position, one too young to know any better than to trust the government. You see the anger in their eyes as you continue. But that has come to an end too and now I'm back. The government has no say in this city anymore. I am in charge and I say there will be fear. Everyone starts to shout now. We do not fear. One man yells. Several others say similar things. You look over the crowd and laugh. I don't believe you. A hush falls over the crowd. You do not believe in fear. But you are all afraid. I can see it in your eyes. So why hide it? Face your dread. Open your mouth and scream. Most people just look around nervously but a few brave souls actually do as you say, the screams echoing throughout the city. That's it. Let it all out. You will all remember this day. The day you faced your fears. Because from now on, you will face them more and more every day. You walk out in front of the crowd and stare them down. I will lead you all to fear. Under my guidance, Katboykami will retake what is rightfully ours. We will retake our city with fear and intimidation. We will become so terrifying, 
the government will have no choice but to step down. The crowd cheers at your speech. It occurs to you that you have no plan on how to do this, but you're sure you'll think of something. After the crowd has dispersed, you gather a few of the favorites to speak with them. So, I want each one of you to go out there and spread fear. Intimidate the people into submission. One of the girls speaks up. But, 